Nearly six miles. That's how far you'd have to hike to burn off a double cheeseburger. And it would take you more than four miles to work off a bottle of soda. Today on Delmarva Live, we're going to show you how labels could be changing from calories to exercise information in an attempt to get you to think twice before you take your next bite. Plus, many people jog to exercise. And while it may be good for your heart and help you build stamina, it could also be causing you harm. We'll tell you how. Maybe you suffer from the sniffs and sneezes associated with allergies. What if I told you you could get relief just by doing something you already do in the morning? You're going to find out how your cure could be on your toothbrush. Well, my cure for a tasty appetizer is one of these guys. And while fresh is great, frozen may have you letting the dish pass by. Not anymore. Today, we're boarding the shrimp boat to find <laughs> out the right way to freshen your frozen crustaceans. And you'll have to wash down those little guys with a tall, pale ale. Maybe you're more into dark beer. Well, anyway, coming up, we not only learn how to make your own suds, but wine, coffee, and tea, too. Then there is this app, and these two guys find out why their goal is to cross the country and buy tens of thousands of beers just for you. And you just might need all those ales to wash down these two recipes. We are in the Delmar Life Kitchen, taking on WVOC Steve Hammond and Karina Paisa in our five-minute recipe challenge. Are you ready to be challenged? You better be. We have two ways you can win up to $300 in gift cards to your favorite Delmarva businesses. And if that's not enough, we go behind the scenes of the new CBS hit drama, Stalker, to find out just how real it is. And get ready for a story sure to tug at your heartstrings. WBOC Sports Director Scott Abraham shares a story of one young man's struggles and how an entire team helped him triumph. Don't Marvel Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Del Marble Live from Historic Studio D. I think I see a lot of people walking around WBOC today with like bags under their oh eyes goodness. and they're tired with all that election coverage. What a night it was and they all did a terrific job. They did. But man, oh man, did it take it out of them. <laughs> really, really good that elections are finally over. Yeah. So, you know, there's something I want to mention real quick. Um, you can never have too many friends to help you through difficult times. Mm -hmm. And Compass Regional Hospice, you probably remember them as Hospice of Queen Anne's. Yeah. Uh, they just changed the name. Um, they're ready to help you. Take a look. I want to introduce you to Rhonda Knotts. She's a grief counselor who will be a co-facilitator of HALOS, which is Healing After a Loved One's Suicide. This is Patricia Cotson, the other co-facilitator who lost a son to suicide in 2010. HALOS will start meeting a week from tonight at the hospice in Centerville, and it's a difficult time, but it's always great to make more friends to help you out. Absolutely. And as you know, Veterans Day is less than a week away. And to say thank you to veterans, the Texas Roadhouse in Fruitland is offering a free lunch on Tuesday, as probably are a lot of restaurants in the area. It's the seventh annual Texas Eye Salute and Thank You. Bring your proof of military service, past or present, and select from a list of 10 entrees. I think that's awesome. Is it? Can we can we do the salute? Sure. Sal uh, we want to salute the Salisbury did it wrong, but <laughs> Rotary Club has named their Rotarian of the Year. Oh. The club selected Erica Joseph as best exemplifying their motto, Service Above Self, the ideals of the Rotary four-way test, a true spirit of volunteerism, and community leadership through participation in Rotary committees, programs, as well as activities. Erica has been with the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore since 2003. She's a volunteer for Junior Achievement, the Maryland Community Foundation Association, and the Del Mar PTA. Wow, congratulations to her. Another great group, Special Olympics, and Special Olympics Delaware is throwing their fall sports festival this weekend. Nearly 600 athletes and unified partners along with 150 coaches will compete at the University of Delaware Athletic Complex. Opening ceremonies are Saturday morning at 10 at the Bob Carpenter Center <laughs> and admission to the ceremony and all events is free. At the Bob. At the Bob. At the Bob. Lots going on. Uh, the Jefferson School is throwing their November Fest at the beach. The benefit's going to be at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. You can vote in the Chef Showdown. There's even an hypnosis show. You want to know more about that, the number to call at the Jefferson School is 302-856-3300. Hypnosis. I'd love to see you N get hypnotized. No. <laughs> <laughs> Another event, the Chesapeake Children's Theater has a cast of 7 to 11-year-olds on stage this weekend for Disney's Aladdin's Kids. Here's Quinn <laughs> Turner as Princess Jasmine and Aiden Losher as Aladdin. They, uh, they'll have a Friday evening performance and two Saturday with the evening show, A Dinner Theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, Daria Wilson is Iago, 
Annie Sanford, who, by the way, is my niece, <laughs> is Jafar, and Grace Burns is uh, The Genie, directed by Kimberly Stevens. The show will be at the Easton Elks Lodge, 1622 on Dutchman's Lane. Yay, my niece. I had to mention that, sorry. The show is one thing, but that makes it even more cute. <laughs> um, so we are proud to announce that N6EAMSZ <laughs> has a new name. It's Bella Boo. Aww. Bella Boo is a 13-year-old Bay Mare, Ginny and Randy Gaudier of Mount Joy, Pennsylvania, randomly selected to offer a proper name for the wild Assateague horse. Ginny says Bella Boo is a pet name for their beloved cat. Your opportunity to name a foal will begin December 5th. There's going to be a 10-day eBay auction to name N2BHSM. That's the one there on the right. The little one. The little one. The Pinto Philly was born in the Assateague State Park Campground on Memorial Day. So starting bid, $300. All proceeds benefit Assateague Island Alliance, the Friends Group of Assateague Island National Seashore. If you want more information on how you can, how you can bid, go to our website, WBOC.com. You can click on our picture at the top of the page. Now, later on this week, we're going to hook you up with your own four-legged friend. But in the meantime, most folks, when they, they get a dog, they want a, a guard dog. This is Lily, <laughs> guard dog extraordinaire. There's no way that you will ever be snuck up on by a pillow with Lily on duty. The key, never to turn your back on a pillow, knowing they can strike from any direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. It looks like Lily. she's burning up <laughs> extra treats there. Yeah. What about you? Maybe you go for a jog to get rid of those extra calories and fat, but while you're helping your heart, are you only hurting another part of your health? We dig into some research. Nutrition labels can play a role in keeping you healthy, but they may change. And it may have you thinking twice before you eat certain foods. You're going to find out what else labels may soon include. And we probably won't be paying too much attention to the labels in the Delmarva Life Kitchen today because we'll be <laughs> scrambling to get our recipe finished. We're taking on WBOC Steve Hammond and Karina Paisa in another recipe challenge. But coming up next, it's a story that will give you goosebumps. We're going to hear about a young man named Vinny, born with a genetic disorder. And just wait till you hear how his dream to play football on Delmarva finally came true. Delmarva Life will be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 